Say hello to the Colo Play. This isn't just any old desktop controller though, this is something special. Not only can we control the PC with this bad boy, but we can also display various clock faces, control our Colo lights, get live social media accounts and updates every 10 minutes, meal recommendations, mini games, and loads of little applications and useful features, macro functions, up to 28 macro keys, and up to nine different applications. Okay, let's take a look at this then to see why this is so good. It comes very well presented in this premium sleeve type box. We get a sheet of stickers, this is really cool. We also get some quick start instructions and a QR code there to get you up and running. Inside the box, we get a USB-C lead. This is a high quality USB. It's not a braided cable, unfortunately, but it is certainly a premium USB-C cable. And then the Colo Play. Wow, that's very heavy. It feels very industrious, really, really good. It's a matte black finish with a mostly rubberized texture. On the back, we've got a USB-C port. We've also got a little button there. That's for a hidden menu. I'll show you what that does shortly. The entire base is rubberized, so it's anti-slip. All of the buttons feel very tactile and responsive. And yeah, it does feel really sturdy on the desk. It doesn't move or wobble around or anything like that. The dial is also very tactile. This doubles up as a LED screen and it's also the OK button. On the bottom there, we've got a little speaker. This is for the follower notifications and things like that if you want to have that activated, but you can turn the sound off. Speaking of followers, if you guys find this content helpful or if you enjoy my content at all, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. It massively helps us grow. Back to the video then. There's also a little microphone on the top there. This is for your music modes, etc. Okay, let's show you guys how we set this up then. So it simply plugs in via USB-C. You'll be given a welcome note and then you want to head over to your desktop browser. I'll leave the address on screen now, but I'll also add it to the description. Simply type in the address or go to the website and then click the download link for Windows or for Mac. Once the user interface is downloaded, you can take full control of this thing. We'll start with the clock faces. Press in the dial to switch between them. Some of them are more time focused, some of them time and the date, and others show the time, the date and some PC stats like your CPU usage. All of them look good and I suppose it's down to personal preference. They all have their own various use cases. I prefer this one that just shows me the time and it has this sound reactive circle. If you press in the upper left button, this is always the back button, but if you hold it for two seconds, it becomes the pause button. This allows you to switch between applications. Before I show you the apps, let's do the setup though. The first option we get is language. Let me just try and change the light here so we can see this a little better. There we go. Okay, so press the dial inwards to select. We're already on English though, so I'm just gonna press the back button for now to take us back to the main menu. The second option is Wi-Fi. This is 2.4 gigahertz. Simply select your network and add your SSID. Then it is connected to your Wi-Fi. It's nice and simple to connect, and that then will give you the correct time and date. The time is below the Wi-Fi. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you can then set your time zone. We've also got some sound settings, some backlight settings, and key lamp. This is for the RGB and stuff that's on the display. You can also set the application order. We've got a sleep mode and a super silent mode and there's a few other little settings here that you can go through and customize it further if you wish to but I'm gonna pretty much leave it default. If you press the back button it takes you back to our clock menu and then I'm gonna show you how we can cycle through some applications and some of the apps that I'm using at the moment which I find useful. We can grab applications at any time by coming into the Colo Light interface and you can just put this in system tray. You can leave it running 24 seven or you can just open and close it as and when you need it. On the first page, you'll notice we've got the keyboard where we have four layers in the top right corner. This allows us to set the macro functions and there's four pages that we can use. There's also some useful information in here. CPU usage, the load, the clock speeds. This is the same for your GPU and your memory. Applications are simple to add and remove. We have nine slots available. We can select from 10 different local applications. This is various watch faces, dashboards, PC switches and your Colo controllers etc. You can customize these and delete them at any time. We've also got a little extensions one which gives us a few extra controls. We've got a pinball mini game, a dino run game which is what I have installed at the moment. And we also have some Spotify and Netflix controllers here.
here if you wish to use those. You can even upload your own ROM files, which I thought was pretty cool. You can also create four different layers with your macro controller. It gives us some recommendations of what we should use this for, things like your NVIDIA Shadow Play. You can basically set it so one click will activate your recording and stuff like that. But there's loads of other things here, like you can save screenshots, launch applications and websites. And I know we could do most of this from our keyboard, but it is just nice to have everything in one device with one click function. The applications also supported with regular updates. And while we're talking about updates, your sub count is pretty cool. Every 10 minutes it updates with your latest follow account. Let's show you some of the apps in action then. I'm going to go over to Spotify. I did try this with the YouTube audio library, but for some reason, it never seems to skip tracks, but it's not just this device. This happens with headphones and all sorts. I think it's something to do with YouTube, so we'll head over to Spotify. So yeah, it works on Spotify. Play. Pause. Mute. Unmute. And back that's for Spotify so it all works on Spotify brilliant this one's pretty good for me this one is a metronome now I'm learning to play the drums at the moment so this is very useful you can access metronomes on Google and stuff like that but like I said it's nice to have it all at your fingertips and all in one device I really find these things useful kind of unique I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this and remember to change applications you just hold the button down for two seconds until the pause icon shows up on the screen and then you turn the dial left or right to access your applications this is another feature that i really like this is the colo controller this allows you to control any colo lights that you might have it's pretty simple to connect to your colo light this actually saves you the hassle of having to reach for your phone open the application and then choose whatever setting and theme you want everything is here one click of a button again i love it the mini games are fun and perfect especially while you're waiting for a video to render or if you get a wi-fi dropout and even if you want to just beat your previous score each day come down and try and beat your personal best there is a couple of other games there is a pinball game and i think there's one other so i'm pretty sure there's three games in total at the moment they're a great addition and they're definitely fun to use i'm not very good there's even a couple of quirky apps. This one is a cyber stove. This one gives you a meal recommendation. If you press in the dial, it will give you another recommendation and you can just keep cycling through until you either have something in stock or you see something that you fancy. Like I said a little earlier, I don't think I've seen anything quite like this. It's definitely unique. Okay, so you can get this from the Colo Light website. I am an affiliate there, and if you use our code, you will get yourself 10% off the purchase price. It's currently priced at $239.99, but there are different size kits available here. You can get 10 piece, 7 piece, 9 piece. You can also get some with the LED strip and things like that, so that does affect the price. You can get 10% off, like I said, so that is definitely helpful. Make sure you use Triple R at checkout. I'll leave links in the description these are affiliate links and you are directly supporting the channel when you use them so i would just like to say a massive thank you to all of you guys that do Colo lights also have a fair returns policy if you're unhappy or if there's ever an issue the only issue i did have was connectivity at the start and that was my error not the colo play error basically i have loads of devices that i'm constantly testing and my wi-fi network gets clogged up sometimes so we had a little issue connecting with wi-fi in the beginning but other than that i've had no issues whatsoever with this thing i've really enjoyed using it i am also going to start using it for editing as well but yeah i'm really pleased with this I have seen a few different content creators check this out and overall all of the feedback and reviews are mostly positive. The most prominent one was Random Frank P. I'll leave his video and his links down in the description for your convenience. I have to say overall I agree with these guys, I think this is pretty good. Even though it took me a little while to get set up in the first instance, since then I've had no issues whatsoever. It's definitely a unique product, it's extremely well made. I can easily recommend this if you're into things like desktop accessories, controllers, these kind of things. It is an expensive toy, but it's a good one. Guys, if you enjoyed any part of the video or found it helpful in any way, please consider leaving a like, consider subscribing to the channel with your notifications on that way you never miss any future uploads thanks to all of you guys for being here i appreciate each and every one of you guys 
and until next time take care of yourselves and each other i'm craig this is really random reviews and i'll see you in my next video